As we have examined in a previous video, the Harst Eagle is one of the most powerful and impressive prehistoric birds the world has ever known. This monstrous raptor is currently believed to be the largest eagle that has ever existed as far as we know, and with a wingspan of over 3 meters across and weighing up to 18 kilograms, the largest specimens certainly hold up to that reputation. This eagle also sports some of the most impressive weaponry in the avian world, with the most enormous feet and talons of any eagle. However, the Harst Eagle is far from the only giant eagle known from our ancient history. In fact, there are a number of species of eagles that lived in the ancient past, some of which were so gigantic themselves, they weren't that far off the Harst Eagle in size and power. Some of these huge birds could be found across the world at different times in the ancient past, and lived in equally as impressive ecosystems as the Harst Eagle, though their reputation is not as well known. In this video we shall be looking at some of the most impressive of ancient eagles, aside from the Harst Eagle, that lived in some of the most unique and bizarre ecosystems in ancient history. Many of these giant birds are nowhere near as well understood or recognised as the mighty Harst Eagle of New Zealand, so hopefully this video shall improve their reputation as gigantic and formidable birds of the past. Before we dive into this video however, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this kind of content. During the Pleistocene Epoch, prehistoric Australia was full of some of the most bizarre and formidable creatures the world has ever known, from the rhino-sized relative of the wombat, Diprotodon, to the carnivorous marsupial lion. There were also gigantic kangaroos, huge flightless birds known as Dromornis, which we mentioned in a previous video, and also the gigantic carnivorous lizard Megalania arguably the most famous of Australia's prehistoric megafauna. However, a recent addition has been made to the list of bizarre Ice Age Australian predators, but this one was quite different from the rest. This was an aerial apex predator rather than a terrestrial one. This was a huge bird of prey, referred to as Dinatoatus, Remains of this gigantic raptor were first uncovered between the 1950s and late 60s, but it wasn't scientifically described as a new genus until earlier this year. The genus name Dinatoatus roughly translates from ancient Greek as powerful eagle. However, phylogenetic studies have revealed that Dinatoatus actually is somewhat closer to the old world vultures rather than the true eagles. Even so, this bird would have physically looked and behaved much more like a giant eagle within its ecology than a giant vulture. Danatoetus truly was an enormous predator, easily dwarfing the largest species of bird of prey on the mainland of Australia today, the wedge-tailed eagle as you can see here. With a wingspan around 3 metres across, the largest specimens of Danatoatus were only slightly smaller than the Harst Eagle in overall size. With large raptorial feet and huge razor-sharp talons, combined with exceptionally powerful hind limbs, Danatoatus was built and therefore probably hunted much like a large eagle, unlike its vulture relatives. Danatoitis would have been one of the most dominant predators in its ecosystem, hunting a wide range of prey thanks to its large size, including both living and extinct kangaroos, wombats, and maybe even large flightless birds including Geniornis. However, like many larger eagle species alive today, along with its old world vulture relatives, Danatoatus was an opportunist and would have been more than happy to scavenge if available. Danatoatus would have also occasionally come into contact with and definitely competed for food 
with the various other bizarre large predators in its ecosystem, including the marsupial lion Thylaco leo, as well as Megalania the giant carnivorous lizard, and at times this giant bird may have occasionally engaged in conflict with them. A battle between this giant bird and those predators truly would have been a sight to behold. The island of Cuba was once home to a range of bizarre animals, but among the largest and most formidable of them was the gigantic genus of eagles known as Gigantohyrax. The apex predator of the ancient island, there were two subspecies of the genus Gigantohyrax, one of which was larger than the other. The remains of these great birds are fairly fragmentary, known only from caves and tar deposits on the island of Cuba exclusively, most of these remains being leg bones. The remains are enough to show, however, that the larger of the two species in this genus, Gigantohyrax suarezi, was possibly the largest species of raptor to ever live in the Americas, with a wingspan around 3 meters across and weighing just shy of 30 pounds, or just under 14 kilos in weight making it 10 times heavier than a red-tailed buzzard. These birds are also massive and robust in their build, more so than many other species their size, and they were only just shy of the harst eagle in size once again. Gigantohyrax lived on an island full of bizarre creatures, including monk seals living on the beaches and black bear-sized ground sloths roaming through the island both of which may have occasionally been at risk from this giant raptor. There was also the Cuban giant owl, Ornimegalonyx, which may have been the largest owl ever to live, standing over a metre tall with exceptionally long legs and possibly being flightless or near flightless. This owl would have been a powerful predator, likely hunting much of its prey on the forest floor, likely at night. The island was also home to a gigantic species of flightless crane, which also may have run into the giant eagle. Gigantohyrax, much like the famous and similar sized Harst eagle, is a great example of a phenomenon known as island gigantism, when an isolated species on an island becomes gigantic in size compared to its mainland counterparts. The lack of any large terrestrial or mammalian predators on Cuba, combined with the plentiful supply of prey, enabled the giant eagle to fulfil a role normally filled by another species on a mainland. Fossil dating suggests that Gigantohyrax lived as recently as just under 10,000 years ago, or early into the Holocene epoch. Not much else is known about this great species of eagle, but forthcoming research should hopefully shed more light on this amazing raptor. Ice Age North America was home to some of the most iconic prehistoric animals the world has ever known. Nearly everybody is familiar with the saber-toothed cat Smilodon, the dire wolf as well as mammoths and ground sloths, just to name a few. However, this ancient ecosystem was home to more than just giant mammals. There were also a wide range of gigantic birds, many of which have since gone extinct. With so many large mammalian carnivores hunting and predating on large herbivores, it made sense that a lot of the birds around were themselves carnivores, including many scavenging vultures, these included the mighty Teratorns, a gigantic species of extinct vulture, some of which could have had wingspans of over 4 meters across. Living in such a diverse ecosystem full of large and small prey alike, there was also a wide range of hunting birds, including a wide range of birds of prey, large and small, living and extinct, that hunted in this ecosystem. The golden eagle, for example, was widespread during this time and is among the most commonly found species in fossil deposits. 
From among these predatory birds, however, one seemed to stand out from the rest, at least in terms of size. This is Woodward's Eagle, or Amplibutio woodwardi, which roamed North America during the late Pleistocene. Once again, this great bird was only just a little smaller than the giant Haast Eagle of New Zealand, with a wingspan approaching 3 metres across, making it more or less the same size as the two birds we have previously discussed in this video, albeit with slightly different physical proportions. Woodward's eagle is known from a range of well-preserved physical remains, and some of the best remains found of this species have been located in the La Brea Tar Pits of California. In this location during the last ice ages, a phenomenon occurred where naturally occurring tar accumulated on the surface of the earth, and animals of all kinds would wander into it unknowingly and become trapped. The trapped animals, alive and dead, would attract the attention of a wide range of other animals, particularly predatory and scavenging species, and many of these animals themselves would become mired in the tar. A countless number of flora and fauna alike of species both extant and extinct have become preserved in the tar. Although it is tragic how many animals perished in these traps, it gives us a vital insight into the lives of species long dead. The vast majority of the most well-preserved remains uncovered at the tar pits are of carnivorous animals, particularly predatory mammals as well as birds, whether they are scavengers or predators. Despite its name and its great size, the closest relatives of Woodward's eagle alive today are actually a family of somewhat lesser known raptors known as Buteogallus. This family inhabits largely neotropical areas around the New World and include the black hawk pictured here and the solitary hawk. However, as we have discussed with Dinotoitis previously in this video, the sheer size, appearance and also behaviour of Woodward's eagle would have been much more like the large eagle species as we know of, rather than these smaller raptors. Ecologically speaking, Woodward's eagle was a hunter that lived in mostly open environments, and would have been one of the more formidable predators in its ecosystem, alongside the big cats and large canids it shared its environment with. Although close to Haast's eagle in size, Woodward's eagle appears to be slightly lighter and longer-legged in its build, with proportionally longer, narrower wings and a shorter tail. This indicates a bird that is better suited to a lifestyle in more open spaces, as its longer wings would have enabled it to soar and glide around in the pursuit for prey, although it was also happy to scavenge most likely whenever the opportunity presented itself. With its great size and gigantic grasping talons, this bird was a powerful predator that would have been able to hunt a wide range of smaller animals, up to the size of small deer or even somewhat larger. However, it is almost certain that at some point this great eagle would have competed with and maybe even engaged in conflict with the other predators in its environment, even the more famous ones like the dire wolf, as well as grey wolves which still live in America today. The idea of this huge and powerful raptor engaging in conflict with large mammalian predators like this truly is awe-inspiring, but is not so far-fetched considering that modern golden and bald eagles, for example, are frequently known to do such things today with modern-day foxes, coyotes and even wolves. Golden eagles, for example, are known to be exceptionally aggressive and possessive over carrion, and are known to frequently engage in such combat against various competitors in times of need. One can only imagine a raptor like Woodward's eagle behaving in a very similar manner, albeit on a grander scale, as this was a raptor over twice the size. Overall, all three of these gigantic predatory birds were truly amazing animals, and it really is a shame that they're no longer around. The habitats in which they lived in were also extraordinary, full of a variety of fauna, 
many of which are themselves iconic creatures of the past. While these raptors may not be quite as big or as famous as the infamous Harst Eagle from New Zealand, their massive size and power is still somewhat underrated and unknown. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it interesting. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.